Hello lovely people, welcome to Akosia's Tasty Recipe. I hope you're all doing well. So for today's recipe, I will be sharing with you how to make a delicious good meat stew, okay? So please stay tuned and let's get started. So in a blender, I'll add red bell peppers, carrot, tomatoes, red chilies and water. Once everything goes in, I'll go ahead and blend until I have a smooth mixture. Okay, so I'll pour the blended ingredient in a saucepan and then transfer it on the stove and allow this to cook on medium flame until all the water has evaporated. The next thing I'm going to blend is red onions, green bell pepper, green chilies, ginger, garlic, and scallions. Once everything goes in, I will add a half cup of water and then give it a blend until it's smooth. So at this point, I'll go ahead and pour the blended ingredient on my goat's meat. It's already washed and then clean, okay? So I'll add salt to taste and then some seasoning. Please feel free to add any spices of your choice, okay? And then once it goes in, I'll mix everything together and then cover and allow this to steam for about 30 minutes or until the meat is tender. So now it's time to check on the tomato and pepper mix, okay? So now enough water has been evaporated, so I'll just turn off the flame and set it aside. I'll also go ahead and check on the goat's meat. So at this point, the meat is tender. So I'll separate the meat from the stock and set the stock aside. Then what I'll be doing is I'll go ahead and fry my goat's meat. So in a different pot, I'll add cooking oil and then add my steamed goat's meat. And then I'll allow this to fry until it's brown, okay? Okay, so this is what I meant by saying I want it brown, okay? So now it's done, so I'll remove everything from the oil and then set it aside. So in the same pot with the same cooking oil, I'll add some white sliced onions and then I'll allow this to fry for a few minutes and go ahead and add tomato paste. Then I'll give it a really good mix and then cover it and allow this to cook on medium flame for about 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, the tomato paste is well cooked and then looks a bit dry and that's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'll go ahead and add my tomato pepper mix I cooked earlier and then stir everything together. Then the next thing I'll be adding is that delicious goat meat stock, okay? And then give it a really good mix and cover and allow this to cook on low flame for about 20 to 25 minutes. This the recipe. The recipe. This the recipe. This the recipe.
okay so after 25 minutes i'll check on the stew and then give it a good stir okay just to prevent it from burning all right then i'll proceed and add some spices so i'll just add my seasoning powder but please feel free to add any spices of your choice and then i will not be adding salt because the stock already has salt and then the seasoning also is a bit salty so i'll stir and cover and allow this to cook on low flame for extra 10 minutes so after 10 minutes i'll go ahead and add the fried goat meat key just for it to incorporate well with the stew yes i want it to be soaked well with all the deliciousness okay so i'll just give it a very good mix and then cover and allow it to simmer for five minutes okay so after the extra five minutes the stew is ready and it smells so good i'll just go ahead and serve with my steamed white rice you can also enjoy this with wache or you can even use it for your jollof rice i really enjoyed this stew the smell is so good i also had some avocado salad made earlier so i'll just be enjoying myself this lunch okay so please give this to a try and trust me you're going to love it the smell is amazing trust me i really really love this too so thank you so so much for watching this recipe if you really like this recipe please don't forget to give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel and then also click on the notification bell so that whenever i upload you will be notified so thank you very much stay tuned for more and amazing recipes god bless you all bye